today we're going to learn seven amazing expressions. I call them handle verbs because they open the door uh, of uh, of the future or the past or the present. They open the door to get the marks to get uh, to to be successful in Spanish. So we're going to learn seven expressions and seven handle verbs to talk about future plans in Spanish. <music> R is your friend. After all these seven expressions, you always use the verb ending in R. Jugar, escuchar, navegar. R, 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 eh? R. Remember R. Hola chicos. Well, I'm back home. I'm ready uh, to learn these seven handle verbs, seven expressions to use the future tense in Spanish to express your future plans. So let's start. Okay, so these, uh, these are the seven handle verbs to express your future plans in Spanish. We start from the very, very simple one that probably you already know. Voy a. I'm going to. Voy a. Really simple. And if you use it effectively, you will get a lot of marks. And also, it's really easy to express. But don't repeat that all the time. So that's the reason why we're learning more expressions today. So voy a, I'm going to, voy a viajar, I'm going to travel. As you can see, there you can see the R, okay? The R of the verb, okay? So the verb after voy a and after all these expressions need to end in R in Spanish, okay? And another example could be voy a leer, I'm going to read. Is similar but slightly different vamos a vamos a means we are going to as you can see the group of people in there so normally the pattern in spanish is, is when you see mos at the end of any verb means that we are doing the action it's a group of people doing the action it can be you and your family you and your friends or we in general so vamos a we are going to vamos a viajar we are going to travel Vamos a leer. We are going to read. And as you can see again, the R at the end of the verb. Number three. I wish. I wish something. Now, in Spanish, we use a lot this verb. Espero. Espero means as well, I wait. But in this context, means I wish to do something. So, espero volver al instituto. I wish I will go back to the school uh, in the future. Okay, espero, number three, espero, I wish. Number four is no Arabic, is an expression that actually comes from Arabic. Ojalá que pueda, ojalá, I wish, ojalá. You basically, you wish into Allah, ojalá, that's the reason why I, I highlight a la in there. Ojalá que pueda. I wish I can do something. So if you're using ojalá que pueda, and then at any verb ending in R, I guarantee you you're going to get a lot of marks because it's considered a complex structure. Now, ojalá, as I told you, come from Arabic. Now, this is the map of Spain uh, between 700 and 1492, uh, roughly. 800 years, almost, the Muslims were uh, in Spain. So obviously they left not only architecture and culture, but also the language. Pensado, as you can see in this famous sculpture of Rodin, I'm thinking is tengo pensado. I'm thinking about something. Tengo pensado. Or I intend to do something. Tengo pensado. So, for example, we can say Tengo pensado estudiar español en el futuro. Tengo pensado. And again, remember the R, okay? After all these expressions, the verb need to end in R. <music> numero 6. Well, as you can see, numero 6 is a slightly different to the other ones because we need to add something at the end of all these opinions that you already know. But as you can see, there is one pattern in all these opinions. Me gusta, me encanta, me flipa, me mola, me chifla. I like, I love. But as you can see, the pattern is the 
ME at the beginning and the A at the end. So they always use ME and A at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to add RIA at the end. Now, RIA, a good way to remember the ending is this money transfer company where you can send money to all the parts of the world. So we are going to think about, oh, I would like to send money because RIA in Spanish at the end of these opinions means I would. I would like. Me gusta. I like. Me gustaría. I would like. So ending RIA means I would. And after this, you just basically use a verb ending in R. Me gustaría jugar al fútbol. Number seven. Como quisiera poder. Now, this one is pretty complex, so you have to make sure that you use properly the other ones. But if you're using this one, you are going to get a lot of marks. You are going to impress the, uh, the person who's marking your exams and definitely your teachers. Como quisiera poder. How I wish to be able to. Hmm? Literally. How I wish to be able to do something. Como quisiera poder. For example, como quisiera poder viajar a España, hmm? how I wish to be able to travel to Spain, hmm? como quisiera poder viajar a España. And remember, after this expression, after these three words, you have to make sure that you use the verb ending in R, as the rest of the expressions that we learn today. That's it. That's the seven expressions that we learn today about the future plans. Now, in the next lesson, we are going to use these expressions in a, a full sentence is to make sure that your structure of your writing and your speaking is absolutely spot on. So we're going to put the handle verb, all these seven expressions, at the beginning of the sentence. And then we're going to put the verb ending in R. And the next step is going to be a future expression.